Oh, hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name's Ryan, we're back into Baldur's Gate 3. It's the D&D game that uh, came out in 2023 that is super beloved right now, and we have played uh, a good, like, six, seven hours of it so far. Uh, epic music, epic sounds, like Jeff said, yes, indeed. Baldur's Gate 3 has been a lot of fun for me, personally. There's some incredible characters uh, in my party, and then there's also my character. Uh, some of you have probably not met my character in this game yet, so I'm here to introduce you to Marcus uh? Everystar. FM Radio, thank you for the follow. This is Marcus Everystar. Uh, basically a Pete Wentz for the, uh, for the fantasy world. Uh, we have a cowboy hat on. Don't worry, we're in our country phase for sure. We're a bard. We're level two, just like the rest of our party. Um, we do cover songs. Uh, we busk in the streets at night uh, and steal people's money. He's still Brad in my heart. He's Brad Paisley uh, uh, in this hat, that's for sure. What's the Brad Paisley song? Like, Search You for Ticks or whatever? About sexy time in the woods? This is Brad Paisley. This is Brad Parsley. How's the music? I believe it's the same composer as Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, it's very good so far. Very good. But here's the deal. Uh, what's happened so far? We are Marcus Every Star. This is our party of friends. This is Laazel. Um, Gith Yankee, who is very rude, uh, but also very... How would you say this? Um, has strong beliefs. Uh, principled is how I would say it, if I was being generous. Uh, very principled. Uh, this is Asterian, who I hate, other than Asterian's very rich, uh, but also a rogue. So very useful in combat. Uh, and this is Shadowheart, who I... This is going to be my goth girlfriend sometime soon. As soon as I as soon as soon I figure out how to riz up a character in this game, goddamn, um, Shadowheart will be my girlfriend. It, you know, fingers crossed. Uh... <laughs> So yeah, there's those people. There's uh, one other person who we don't speak about, whose name is Gale. Uh, we don't speak about Gale. Um, yeah, we have just... So what's happened in the story so far? This is going to be some story spoilers. Hi, Gallop. How's it going? Uh, story spoilers. We have been infected with tiny little mind flare worms inside of our brains. All four of us. Uh, and also potentially Gale, but maybe not. Uh, we have to find a cure for that so that we don't turn into Mind Flayers here in the next couple uh, days. We've crashed, crash landed upon this place, uh, this world. Uh, we're looking for a cure. Along the way, we ran into the God of the Dead. Uh, we made our way to this camp and defeated these people right behind us, aka the Bloodbath, and now we're here. So uh, we're going to see what's going on in this camp. What's the gameplay like in this game? Fight and explore or something else? Emerald Grove. Uh, there is like D&D combat. There's also cutscenes. There are lots of dialogue. Don't blame me for your idiotic mistakes. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us and you let them take the druid too. Unbelievable! There's also dialogue that you can vote on. I'm gonna choose what I want to still at the end of the day, but uh, you're allowed to, you know, there's an over, there should be an overlay on the screen that you can click on to uh, uh, vote for, I hope. Uh oh. There it is. Uh, you can actually vote for what I should say. So, let's see if we can remember exactly what's, what's going on here. Um, tieflings are so hot. Yeah, we haven't met uh, the the hot tiefling that uh, might actually become my. I think she's a tiefling. What's the name again? Carlac. Um, we haven't met the hot tiefling who might actually become my goth girlfriend. Where there's one goblin, there's ten. I'm leaving before the horde shows up. One fight just ended. Now you're picking another. Relax, druid. Those goblins didn't take any prisoners. Cough up my payment. Or what's unbelievable is how we beat those goblins. You're both heroes. This ought to be fun. 
We'll add Guidance to give us a D4 to this roll. We have to beat a DC 15, which is going to be pretty damn high. But we have plus three, plus two, plus somewhere, you know, total bonus of six to nine. Nat 20. Fucking four. Yikes. 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 Tell that to the dead at the gate. Yes. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. He calls him horns. Well, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. Aridin, you are you? The tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. Uh oh. Let's uh, let's step in here. <clears throat> I don't like this Aridin guy. This is a. Uh... This is not great. I think we're about to erupt into some uh, some fisticuffs, if I had to say. Fisticuffs. Uh, chat on screen is standing still, by the way. Might as well put it out. It's being a little funky. Uh, that's because my PC can't catch up with this game. So I'll leave it on there for now. But. This game is very generous with allowing you to just apply guidance because it's an actual spell that you need to cast in 5e. It's true. Uh, okay. Like, like the the equivalent of that would be every time I pick a new dialogue option that requires a roll. Uh, who is it who casts guidance again? Is it Shadowheart? I think Shadowheart would have to walk up and actually touch me and audibly cast the spell. Uh, hmm. My strength certainly sucks. Let's go with what hopefully wins here. DC 15. There's no chance I roll a shit roll again. We're fine. By the skin of our teeth. Success. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. The goblins have found us. Squabbling is pointless. Goblins might be on the way. About this parasite than a few goblins. We need a healer. We do need a healer. That's true. Uh, twenty is the highest you roll. Yeah, you you do a uh, you roll a d twenty and then you add bonuses from there. Here's Zevlor. Let's talk to Zel uh, to to Zevlor and see what's going on here. I have something to ask. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I like your voice, Zevlor. I like your voice a lot. Guidance is a verbal and somatic component. Talk to Zelda? Wait a second. <laughs> I played a tiefling in my last D&D campaign. Incredible. What uh, what level did you get to? Want to eat and get some work done? Sounds great, Luke. Uh, I'm Zevlor. I'm Marcus Everystar. I take my thanks in coin? Here's the deal. My character is this is this is so anti how I would play. But my character is a charlatan. Ooh, what's this background music? Let's try it. Then you'll have better luck looting the goblins outside. This is a druid's grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The what, you don't believe in money? Forcing everyone out. Druids this don't believe in money. Will only strengthen their resolve. Okay. All right. I have no quarrel with druids. Why are they forcing you out? Those goblins. Have there been many attacks like that? I won't be staying long. I just need to find a healer. Why are they forcing you out? Yeah. Why are the druids only... Why are they so quick to shove others out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've mm. started a ritual 
to cut the grove off from the world outside. Hey, a ritual? Like a ritual stay, piece of magic? We'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. That's not very cash money of these druids. Can we convince them to stop it? I like the white-haired guy's outfit, sure, but his but his but his fucking personality is terrible. This is a Starian and he's an ass. Listen, excellent outfit, he's an ass. I love that people are picking options I'm definitely not going to pick. I tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though, I know Look it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Me? With this Riz? Definitely, definitely. Kaga? I'm sure I could. I'll see what I can do. I've got my own problems. I have my own temporal concerns. I need a healer. What are you offering for my aid? I love how Chad is like, ask about the healer. I hear we're looking for a girl. We are looking for a girl or a guy, but so far the ones I've been most attracted to have been female presenting. Uh, tell Meg's character to stop the ritual. Meg does play a, a, a druid in our D&D game. Hmm, what are you offering for my aid? This didn't work well the last time I did this. The last time I asked like this. I feel like I can ask this and then we're, do the next one. We're messengers now. Hey! We owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. This is how... You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. This is how we get their favor. We do them a job and then they repay us with free healthcare. That's how this works. All right, let's see if I can remember the uh, the buttons. We're looking for the heart of the grove, the heart of the cards. Well, grove is that way. Real quick before we go there, let's go up here and see what's going on. This camp. I like the music here so much. Ryan is team bad choices. I'm team whatever choices allow me to uh, continue. Uh... Who are you? Whatever choices allow me to keep playing loot. Aridin's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halson. Halson? Who's that? Who's Halson? Um... My god, you could totally take the map from this game and make battle maps from it. I love it. The map is really satisfying to look at. The druid in charge of this grove. At least Before Kaga? He was. Guess if he didn't come back with Aridin, that might not be Ooh, the case. We got journal updates like crazy. Okay. Do you have any other dialogue we can talk to you about? No more trouble. Yet. What do you know about a healer? Oh, no. Okay. So this game is interesting. It definitely, like, uh, the dialogue is very, um, the forks close. Cannon? Like, it's gone, oh, oh, shit, he's dead. Go next. Get up, Cannon. Can I loot his body? There's a dead body in the ground, grieving people around it. Am I that asshole for trying to find a plus one sword? Ask it on Reddit. A-I-T-A. -A. No, but I, I am an asshole for stepping over the body. Uh, let's talk to this person. Arca. He's not breathing! Go find a healer! He's Do fucking dead. Do not yourself. He is gone. No! Let Azel. Why are you so rude? You need to avenge this? Spill some goblin blood. I'm sorry it happened so fast. He's dead. Stop wasting your time or leave. There is only one correct option in these four options. And one out of five people have, has picked it so far. Arrow sticking out of his chest. He's not breathing. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, so two people have now picked it. If Laazel and Someone's going to pay for this. Asterian are going to be asses, oh, God, no, wait. I have to play doing? good cop. Someone's going to pay for this. What do you mean? Oh, fuck. Did you just draw your weapon? Should we follow? What the fuck? Uh-oh. Go, run, 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 run. Follow, follow, follow. What's going on? Oh, my God. The drama. The drama. What's the drama with Gale? I think Gale is a faker. I think Gale doesn't actually have a mind flare inside of him. The hollow. I care about our lives. Our futures. No, you just care about your stupid... What's going on over here? What's going on? The hollow. This is cool. This is a very cool place. Did she, did she come over here and fuck someone up or no? There's Aridin. What an asshole. What an asshole. That might may hurt you, boy. Too late. Looking at you is painful enough. But the argument? I know, but I thought I was going to come see an argument here. We'll go back to the argument. I thought, I, trust me, I want to see the argument, but I thought I was missing an argument here. I thought What's Her Nuts was about to uh, put an arrow in someone's throat. You're trying to keep us alive. I get it. I get it. What's the deal over here? Hal, Leah, and Roland. Hells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can Hi, we all just the take the game? Please. What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. How goes the Rizless Bard? I still don't have a girlfriend. What's happening here? You should all stay. A single blade can make a difference. Get out while you can. Goblins will be back. I still barely understand what's going on. These three are all tieflings, but this is a druid's grove. Are any of you also druids or are you? It's a lot going on. A lot going on over here. I'm such a persuader though. It's Balden time. It's Balden time. Hey, uh, guidance, please. Not 20. I wonder if they honor critical successes. I wonder if they have like choices coded in, uh, uh, like options coded in for, uh, it seems like it would be crazy that they give you a nat 20 option on every single role in the game. That seems crazy. Thank you. It's the right thing to do and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Unless you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. Okay. So I think the the key to the the key fact to draw from that is Tieflings themselves are split on whether or not they stay. Whether or not the druids let them stay, they're split. This is a traitor. Nice. Okay. Hi Squirrel Monkey, how's it going? Always pick leave. Just constantly be leaving. Hi, Elgo. All right, our first uh Manx says my fallout brain is always picking the option with a perk. I think this is our first trading. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be this complete ritual. before too long. Does anyone have a TLDR for silly me who doesn't know anything about Baldur's Gate? Uh, I could use the TLDR as well, actually, honestly. The short and long of it is that we're a party uh, of people who have been infected with a mind flare parasite um and we are out to save ourselves but in the process we've landed in this strange place and i think to find a healer and to and to as individuals each chase down our own personal goals we're going to sort of work together slash uh help the people of the area 
Bye, Carly. Yeah, sounds perfect. See you tomorrow. Did not expect the beginning of the story, me either. Baldur's Gate is a city on the Sword Coast set in the Forgotten Realms. Bunch of lore stuff with the city with that I won't spoil. I like the hat. This is my favorite hat in the game. Or like my favorite item in the game. Favorite thing in the game. I'm looking for a healer. I guess we should probably start I asking pray about no that. Goblin arrow has grazed you. Netty could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. Netty, okay. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. Mm. The grove will be locked down soon. Wait till I hit her with the uh, classic Marcus smile. Smile and wink. Netty will be coming. Uh, Netty will be tripping over themselves to, to heal me. Tell you that much. Tell you what. Nettie, eating out of the palm of my hand when I'm done with her. There you go. Ryan, are you a ranger bard? I'm a bard. I know. Outfit doesn't really uh, say anything about it. I but. know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people here? We druids will be safe. We druids. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. Interesting. Put their fate in uh, Sylvanas's hands instead of in yours. Okay. So the druids don't want to take refugees and don't want to keep them. The region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. Dire times, high stakes, I understand. We can give the uh, we can give the uh, the pass of sure. Uh, understandable, completely. Most are tieflings; they'll be fine. They have devilish powers. That one seems racist. The region's overrun by monsters. I don't know. Do we stand up for the potential people? You just said you're a bard. You have negative riz. How is this possible? Listen, I have great charisma. I have no riz with the ladies so far. Always sounds sounds very bard to me. Atomic riz or negative? As I said, it's a drastic measure, but the survival of the grove is paramount. Tell me why? There just why? aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Why is the survival of the dro of the of the grove so paramount? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Can I sell you stuff? Trading and bartering. Two ways to buy and sell items. Trading is quick and easy. Bartering will let you haggle for the best value. Okay. All right. Hiram taught me fantasy lands are based in racism. Hashtag always pick leave. Trade screen's a lot to take in. Yeah, this will be fun. We're gonna take two seconds from this. Uh, see what we can come up, like see what we can learn. Uh, let's just get rid of some stuff that I definitely don't need. I'm thinking it's a lot of these daggers. Okay, what happens if I what happens if I click it? If I click it once, sorry, if I double click it, it goes here. Get rid of these daggers, these javelins. Um, I have extra light armor here. Value goes up by the number on its thing. And what do you have that we could look for or that we could use? Gloves of missile snaring. Now that's very interesting. 320 value. Oh my God. My character is a druid. This guy was way nicer to me. Interesting. Hi, bloopsies. I like the style of your shield. Um, getting some thieves tools would be great. Um, Hero of Ilmata. Hero of Darkness. Here's my uh, current preference. I would like to get a different weapon for uh, fucking Marcus. Um, I don't like the weapon we currently have, this javelin. Eventually, I'd like a different one. Um, but for now, what I'm seeing is probably... Let's see if we can afford these gloves of missile snaring. Uh, if we get them, when a missile is uh, from a ranged attack comes at us, you can intercept it, reducing the damage by 1d10 plus your dex modifier. Um, no ranged 
damage at this level, basically, is what that would probably amount to. So, uh, what do we sell to get there? Simple robe, we can sell that. Ring mail armor is pretty great. Spiked shield is plus two to AC. Um, a silver locket, silver necklace. Sell these plates. Sell these mugs. Sell these bottles. Probably gonna need all these things later, but it's fine. I need 320 value. <clears throat> oh, currently it says barter rather than trade. Uh, shit, no, okay. Does this game break down the different coinage? Copper, silver, electrum, gold, and platinum? Or is it all boiled down to one type of coin? That's a great question. I don't know the answer. I currently have 408 gold. I feel like these stones might be used for components um, or, or something like that. I really don't know. Uh, void bulb. I still don't know about those, so I'm just going to get rid of them. I could probably use them, but... Uh, my dye? Screw changing colors. Oh my god, there's no shot we're gonna get to 320. Oh my god. This game overwhelms me? Same, but we're just gonna take it slow. My goal is to take it very slow to uh, sort of like um, piece things together slowly over time. Uh, let's get rid of any doubles. Can we get to 320? Soul coins are very valuable, and then we do have some gold. What if we put in 106 gold? That would put us at directly the right number. 320, 320. Barter. Anybody else feel like this inventory isn't Tetris Y enough? <laughs> we need to play more Escape from Tarkov. Right here, there is a, uh, the trader will be pleased with this offer. It's underneath the chat, and then a little bar here. We're in the attitude zero category right now. Uh, we could add a little, let's add a little something sweetening on top. By the way, this is what the trading screen is going to look for for indigestion cards. Uh, dot com really soon. Um, this is exactly what we're kind of coming, trying to come up with. Had a scroll of protection from good and evil, you know, that'll put us over the, over the mark. Come on, come on, barter with me, barter with me. I'll give you my tongs and this stuffed bear. Did that work? It worked. Excellent. Get me out of here. Sylvanas, guide your path. Be careful near a trader's watchful eyes. Their attitude towards you affects the price of their stock. Oh, so what if we did some, like, some good charity right in front of you? Then maybe you would, uh, you know. Then maybe you'd like us. Gloves of power. I'm going to equip that to someone else. I'm setting that to Shadowheart and then Shadowheart. The so Shadowheart's going to put on these gloves. Uh, on a melee hit, you possibly inflict inflict sorry, a negative 1d4 penalty to the tar uh, target's attack rolls and saving throws. Seems great. Hit a melee hit. We're chilling. Protection from good and evil. Hope nothing tries to possess you now. My mind is already, uh, my mind is already screwed. Um, from this mind flare. All right, let's go this way now. See what else is going on inside of this. We're looking for Nettie. And uh, we're looking to convince these druids not to be so selfish. Very well. I'm only going to ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. Uh-oh. I don't have your ugly locket. i never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. All right, we don't need to be killing any kids here. Don't you dare lay a finger on that child. Hi, Evo. It's good. We're in camp now. We're in a... a by camp, I mean we're in this uh, this grove. Do what he says, boy. Keep quiet and watch. Let the boy watch. Uh, Do we stand up for children? Probably. But I, f I have a feeling this kid might be uh, fucking pulling one over. We'll stand up for the kid if he is pulling one over. 
It'll be good for our charlatans background. You threatening me? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. This is turned on its head really quickly. I wasn't looking to get into any fights. I wasn't looking to get into, into any fights. You're the one making threats to a child. Pull yourself together. You can't argue with children on the internet because even if you win, you still lose. Come on. Come on. There we go. Respond well to my 25 persuasion. You don't understand. The kid stole my locket. He... Go oh, the hell's with this. These little devils get away with everything because of coffee devils, huh? bastards like so you. Is this a child tiefling? Tiefling child? You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see it. Maybe you will. So but we can definitely... I doubt it. See you personally. around. Personally, I doubt it. So we can definitely see Depends. the narrative being spun here in this grove. Uh, Self-interested protective druids over their grove tried to kick out outsiders. Uh, tieflings experience uh, We've known lots of racism. Ten day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. Of course not. I would never. A recruitment poster. Let me read this recruitment poster. A man and woman stand side by side in armor, emblazoned with a red fist surrounded by flames. Find pride and purpose in the flaming fist. Join today and protect Baldur's Gate. Led by Grand Duke Alder Revengard himself, you'll be Die tasked with guarding the city streets, protecting its people, and upholding the laws that govern us. Speak to any of our friendly fists throughout the city, or visit our headquarters at the Sea Tower of Baldurin to find out how you can get flaming fisted today. No We're exposed now. Okay, there's a flaming fist order. Uh, a backpack here. What if I looted it? Nope, I didn't mean to ping it. What if I looted it? It's got a, it's got a potato. Nothing wrong with me taking it, right? Sure, sure, I'll take it. What's behind the stone door? Wonder if they'll let me walk in. Let's get a feel for what's going on around here. Uh, that's Aradin, the motherfucker. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. I actually was coming up to uh, sort of make a measure of who you are. Sort of see what uh, what's going on with you. Was that Flaming Fist note signed by anyone? I didn't see if it was. All you did was stand up for your crew. I respect that, where you could try to be a little friendlier. Thanks, Mum. Now please do feck off. Feck off. Back off yourself, I saved your skin back at the gates. Charming, I can see why the locals like you so much. That feels like a bard line. Or, hashtag always pick leave. Marcus is the kind of quick wit. The refugees. Fellow who runs this place offered him shelter. Sure, sure. Well, I had picked up as much. I should speak with that fellow. Do you know where he is? Aye. His name's Halston. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract to track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Okay. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Ooh, we would have to... Okay, so the person who is originally responsible for inviting slash keeping the refugees here is in need of saving out in the out in the outside of the camp. Halson. That's what it sounds like. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. I have a look at the contract. Do you think getting rich would be easy? You ran away from a couple goblins. I feel like you count on chat to pick the... To pick the sassiest response. Just realized the cool hat. 
Yeah, I love this hat. This hat is everything to me. Job's all yours. If you got a death wish. This There's is the job they were on. Boulder's Gate. The opaque goblets for a relic. Supposedly buried round these parts. Okay. Well, gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Gold ain't any use if you're too dead to spend it. Too cold to spend it. Any idea where it's if actually I knew at? That, I wouldn't be back here with half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. So I've just been inside of a temple. Whoopsie says I'm at work, so I'm multitasking, trying to anyways. Exclamation Venus in the chat. Um... Aridin's dialogue is already way different than mine was? Really? Do I say thanks or do I just leave? I think we just leave. Way to get back to the gate. Stamped handbell. Press I to read it. Uh, there's a button to sort all this shit. Sort. Stamped handbell. A scuffed handbill stamped with an extravagant seal boldly proclaims, Adventurers wanted for perilous and profitable quest. Master Laurel Aiken, the arcanist of Athkatla, the recluse of Ramazath's tower, seeks brave and enterprising individuals to delve treacherous temple and recover storied artifact, the Night Song, for preservation in Baldur's Gate. Only stout of heart and keen of mind need apply. Fame, glory, and incredible fortune assured. Written like a true wizard. So I wonder where that leads us. Uh, wizard free Azel is complete. That's right. Uh, wizard of Waterdeep. No, we're we're talking this one. Show on map. My favorite button in a game. Uh, there's a map, but it's like, oh shit, it's off here. Oh wow. <laughs> this game's pretty big, right, chat? Is this game like pretty dang large? Okay. I wonder where the body would be. I would hope so. The storage needed for it is 150 gigabytes. That's true. That's true. All right, we spoke to Aaron, and what about Barth? Kind of already you. talked to you. That kid is my locket. My mum gave that to me on her deathbed. Oh shit! Get out of my face. Got nothing to say to you. Okay. Uh, kid has your mom's locket. Whatever we want. I think I'd make a fine teacher. Mm. Or a baker. Mm. Or a butcher. A butcher? Really? <laughs> sure. Blood excites me. Um, right. Okay. That's kinky. Don't be grumpy, Roland. And we'll have a dog, right? Blood excites they me, Vex says. They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. Uh-oh. A little orange cat. That's bugged. And a house with a little door so that it can uh -oh. come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Yeah, these invisible characters are crazy. Wow. That's this wild. Infernal powers are at work here. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Good luck to you both. Also, are you around here? I can't see you. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? <laughs> Big plans for when you get to the city? <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. Just Marcus staring off into the corners of the uh, of this empty room, hearing voices. The rest of the party members are like, Marcus, what's going on? You okay? I'm just chatting. The blushing mermaid for me. Bit rough, but the ale is cheap. I'll be seeking the warmth of the Elf Song Tavern. Marcus is definitely more of a blushing mermaid kind of guy. Need a sea invisibility potion. <laughs> We've had enough rough to last us a good long while. Good luck to you then. And wish us some too. Sure, sure. There you are. Hey, there you, there you are. Found you. 
Okay, let's get down here. See if we can't go stop someone else's argument. That's Damon, who's probably a traitor based on the map, yes. Uh, so let's see. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Toro. My selection is also pretty slim because I just sold all of my shit. <laughs> have you become a mediator then? I guess that's a good point about how I... I don't have to play the game that way. I don't have to be a mediator. That's uh, sort of my instincts when I play games like this, I think. Are to sort of... uh mediate in a way that gets you more information so you can judge better about who to follow slash who to help of sorts used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before el Torel fell into avernus these days my talents are more eclectic learned eclectic. a lot in my time in the hells hope to forget most of it but between you and me there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery alas my offerings are far more humble these days Tieflings are so interesting. I know so little about tieflings. El Terrell, exclamation Tama. All right, what do you got for me? Ringmail armor. Oh, we could upgrade our armor if only I hadn't sold all of my shit earlier. <laughs> oh, we could also find a, a good weapon for... Uh... Marcus. This this thing sucks. This watcher's guide that I'm using is not good. Hmm. Alright, Chad, I need help. What kind of weapon do you think Marcus Every Star the Bard would wield? Are we thinking greatsword? Halberd? Depends. Scimitar? Rapier? Battle axe? True. I would go with, like, Rapier out of any of those. What are his stats? Great question. <clears throat> How do I see that again? <laughs> Probably not on this page. Uh, here. Hi, K-Bell. How's it going? Scimitar? Rusty Halberd? Russell Halberd? I am proficient with martial weapons, so rapiers sounds good, and also simple weapons. So not any great swords, that's for sure. Uh, scimitars are also not on the list, unfortunately. Sickles are. Dex weapon. Okay, this is the part of this is the part of D and D I don't understand. So let's go ahead and learn this. Never get the smell. Rapiers are dex weapons. Wield a salami. Did two different people say sausage or salami? Hi, Kabel. How's your day going? So, how do I tell if a weapon is... This is two-handed. I'm not proficient with martial weapons or great swords. I could do a halberd. Extra reach is interesting. I think I fucking have a rapier. So I don't need to buy one. Did I sell it? <laughs> I might have sold it. Halberd is strength based. Finesse is dex based. Okay, so it does say finesse there. Okay. So what are scimitars? Because people are like, scimitars are cool. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city scimitars soon. are finesse based. Grumpy. But I'm not proficient with a scimitar or martial weapon. Okay. So I need to choose repair. Busy morning, just got home. Okay, so I can find a repair. I don't need to buy one. I don't think that would be a smart choice. Uh, great. So, is there anything else I want to buy while I'm here? Apparently we have this leather armor, which is light armor. 
Uncom we have padded armor. Oh, and it's blue. What's it going to take for me to get this 210? Uh, uh, cost thing. Hmm. Scimitars are bay. What makes scimitars bay? The curves? The word itself? The word itself is really, uh, the fun word. Scimitar? Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? 210, 210, 210. I'll sell you my glass chalice. Tell you my rope? No shot. I need my rope. Ropes are important. Um. <laughs> my jerkin I have to keep because it's what makes me look good. Like when we go into town, you know? What if we just add, like, you know, 112 here? One eleven. Barter? <gasps> My offer's been refused. What if we do a little bit more? One extra gold. Die if I met the rogue and reeking of this. Okay, place. that worked. Never get the smell of we all like a little bit of curve. Exclamation horny bonk in chat. I'm gonna make a dual sausage wielding barbar barbaria barbarian at some point. Can you actually wield a sausage based on what everyone's saying? Front seat question. All right, um, sweet. Uh, chat, excellent news. We have new clothes. We are outfit uh, in a brand new, brand new do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Our AC, I think just went up one too. Yep, yep, yep. Now, does anyone else have a rip here on them? Because I need that. I could have sold the stuff from other people's I do right here. We're going to send that to Marcus. Marcus is going to equip. Wait, where are you running? Where are you running? Where are you running? I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face would frighten a troll. You're an idiot. Wait, where did my Wait, chat, what did I do? I need help. Where did my UI go? There's a rat. What the fuck are you? It's a rat. Animal handling, calm the creature. I can hiss back at a rat? Wait, I do that. Okay, that didn't do anything. Interesting. Now I kind of want to cast speak with animals. Yeah, I have her up here now. Rat stole your UI. Come back, rat. Where'd you go? All right. Oh my god, do we have a level up for everybody? Holy shit. UI is all optional. We're level three, baby. Level up. All right, skills. Uh, you may customize your skill proficiencies in the list below. Uh, sleight of hand is already granted from class. If you are proficient in a skill, you can add a bonus. Or sorry, you do add a bonus. Okay. I feel like with the amount of persuasion we're doing and the fact that I need a girlfriend in this game, we should probably pick persuasion light of hand even better would be great steal lots of things uh we'll pick persuasion i'm gonna talk my way to the top of the world confirm uh we have gained a spell oh interesting invisibility uh Lesser Restoration. Enhance Ability. Enthrall. Eat Metal. That could be fun. 
Detect thoughts. I think we have to take detect thoughts. It's not great for combat. But imagine. Aw, oh, shit. I just clicked accept. Shit. I think I just did the thing again. What did I just do with your stats? Okay, uh, there's a whole alchemy page here. I gotta remember not to click accept when I'm leveling people up. All right, let's level the whole party up. Let's level up Shadow Heart. Level three cleric. Couple extra spell slots. Uh, gain mirror image and pass without trace. Excellent. Classic. Uh, so let's prepare a spell. Uh, current prepared spells. I've ignored most of my... You si skipped the subclass choice, I think? I know. I don't know how to get back to it. Do you know how to get back to it? Teed PPPP? Teed PPP? Triple P's? Slash, does anyone know how to get back to it? Uh, okay. We want to switch out any of these. I don't remember how many spell slots I'll have. Like, let's see here. Two level two spell slots. I currently have one level two spell. Uh, no worries, no worries. Uh... Interesting. We could do Calm Emotions, which could be great to have overall. Blindness and Silence. Spiritual Weapon as a bonus action could be sweet. Let's get rid of Shield of Faith and add Spiritual Weapon. Hi, Dr. Ritsu. Thanks for the lurk. All right. Level up Asterion. The rogue. What do rogues get at level three? Uh, Arcane Trickster. Cantrip of Mage Hand is now added. Um, we also get Cantrip's Bone Chill, 1d8 Necrotic. Prevent the heart target from healing until your next turn. Poison Spray. Uh, who are you trying to romance? Currently, it's Shadowheart. Might be some other people soon, though. It's not going very well. <laughs> Dancing Lights, Cast Friends, Bleed Ward, Shocking Grasp, Ray of Frost. I want a bonus action can... Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. Are any of these bonus actions? All of them are actions. They're all actions. In a rogue's action economy, we bonus action hide, then attack. This would... Pr uh, with piercing shot or whatever. This would probably be outside of combat. Uh... Mostly when I use these things. Slash if I don't have hide available. If that is the case, what would I want? Probably friends. Pick friends. Oh, minor illusion. Compels nearby creatures to investigate. Let's try that for now. Bells. 
Is there like a harem type thing in this game? I have no idea. Great question. Marcus is a romantic. Marcus isn't looking for a harem type thing, though. Marcus is looking for fling after fling after fling. But one, one person at a time. <laughs> uh, charm person. And sleep. Sure. Expanded. And add a wizard spell of your choice. Only one. Learn one extra spell. Now, shield is super interesting. Reaction, level one spell slot. Ooh. Okay, chat, I need a front seat D&D &D question here. I am a level three rogue, subclass arcane trickster. How many spell slots do I have? Because this is going to take a spell slot if I use shield. I just learned a bunch of cantrips. Does anyone know how many spell slots I should have? Front seat question. I don't know how to tell. Might just have to take the uh, take the risk here. I think I might have to take the risk. Gain temporary hit points is cool. Okay, we'll try this. All right, Laazel the fighter, level three. Does that mean a second attack yet? Battle master. Superiority dice. Fighter level 10, these dice become D10s. And fuel your battle master maneuvers. Oh my god, we're battle master? Wait a second. I can choose a different one, right? But isn't battle master the one where you can uh, command other people to do attacks? Whoa. Superiority dot. No second attack yet. What level do people, sorry, do fighters get a second attack? Is it level six? Level four? I can't remember. Eldritch Knight allows you to use magic. Champion. Mean I can uh, crit on 19s and 20s, basically. Oh, this is dumb, but I'm going to choose champion because I would prefer to keep this a little bit easier uh, in terms of me managing how to play the game. <laughs> I believe it's at level five. Okay, no worries. Thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose champion, which I think is probably not the best option there. However, uh, I think it makes for uh, a little bit of easier gameplay for me. If Yankee uh, psionics jump, interesting subclass champion. Cool, cool, cool. We'll pick that. Excellent. All right, so we're making good progress here. Uh, we have traitors and also a conversation over here. Me and Roland would never admit it. I clicked as the wrong person. They take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. Leah and Roland. We're exposed now. My UI keeps disappearing. Me and Roland would never admit it, but they, thanks for cutting in. We should have left by now. Damnish! Hmm. Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Their eyes Staying are so pretty. Is a mistake. You're doing the right thing. The tieflings need help. Why the rest to leave? Leave on your own. Why wait? I don't freaking know. Roland is in the staying is a mistake. Why are you in a you rush? You don't understand. My apprenticeship with Laroa can begin shortly. I cannot be late. You have something you need to do. Yes, that Laroa can. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. 
I like your shirt a lot. Uh, of Ramadz's tower? His name tower? is known far and wide, I see. Few can match him in terms of raw power and talent. Until now, that is. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting. I can assure you. Oh my god. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. You make me want to vomit. Roland, I'm never talking to you again. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. Characters in this game are insanely pretty. It's like every human looking race is made up of models. It's true. It's true. Everyone's gorgeous. Okta. You saw you fighting those saw slimy you fighting bastards. Those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl. Fancy Best a bowl of soup. your belly now while we still can. You're a traitor for, uh, oh, we'll take one. Sure, we'll take one. Traitor for camp supplies? Bowl of gray goo. Mango hands, thank you for the follow. Uh, okay. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run and run hard. Sure. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Don't exactly know what a knoll is. I got some gruel, though. Let me take a look at this. Gruel. Uh, where'd it go? I feel like it should have gone near the top here. Go up by the la latest? No, I don't see it. Where is it? It's probably in my other supplies. Uh, camp supply pack. There we go. Can I see inside of you? Open. Gruel? Why can't I see inside of you? Interesting. Okay, I can't figure it out. All right. Oh, no well. Or, uh, uh, oh well. No worries. <laughs> said no well. I also felt the imitate, uh, urge to imitate her when I saw her. Aramis, who are you? Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Interesting. You're just stealing things or grabbing things. What do you mean? Zoru. All right, we are still looking for Nettie. Two X. Siege. Yo. Twelve and then some smile. <laughs> Hi, Siege. Thank you for the thirteen months subscribed. Twelve and then some. How's it going? You ain't gonna shoot me. Your Hi. hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't Ooh. kill your brother, Arka. You're better than this. This is who we were looking at earlier. Arka wants to kill. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Uh-oh. We have a high, strong situation here. Arka? Arka's brother has just died. Couple arrows in the chest. Took an arrow to the knee. Uh, Saza is blamed, but we don't know why exactly. Voice acting has been amazing overall, but every once in a while you'll get someone who sounds a little goofy. The narrator, though, the narrator is incredible. That's who I should really try and romance. The narrator. I haven't seen any Baldur's Gate. I'm excited to see it. Uh, step between the crossbow and the goblin. Do nothing. Cut up those words could be your last. I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. You'll be absolutely oh, dead. Right. Watch what happens. Do we do we do we play uh what do we do here? Do we play Do we intervene? Hmm. <clears throat> Narrator posted outtakes on YouTube. Outtakes of what? Narrator has a couple videos where she, those videos are brilliant. Is this like spoilery stuff or no? Gail approves. I made the wrong decision. Looks like the absolute sent me a protector. You gotta kill her too. You move. 
Hmm. No, shoot me. Should be easy, right? Persuasion. This won't avenge cannon. It won't change anything. Detect thoughts. We could use our detect thoughts for the first time. It's brand new after all. Just outtakes of the narrator being goofy in the booth. Let's try it. DC 12? Fuck me. <laughs> so when detect thoughts fails in D&D, &D, the person is aware. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm 99% sure. Yep. Stop it! Get out of my head! Well, this is bad. We're dead. <gasps> I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids and your birdies and your dogs. Ooh, okay. Yikes! Why is my UI like this? Is there a button I need to hit? Like, I, I don't understand what I've done incorrectly here. Space skip. I don't know what I did to the to the dot to the UI here. So it turns out if you fail a uh, a, a uh, I don't know what button to hit here. Pay the rat to get the old UI back. Honest to God, question: Is there a UI problem with what's going on right now? Like, is there a button I should hit? Is this normal? F10. Oh, you tapes are all boring. I just get rid of this. Getting stuck on dialogue. Yeah, dialogue UI. If I hit space, I'm nervous that uh, I'm nervous it's going to uh, skip my turn. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids and your birdies. All right, we'll just attack. Your dogs. Okay. If you click on a different character, that works out all right. Ah, uh, but not for Marcus. Okay. Um. Interesting. All right. So Asterian. Could probably try and run up. Let's get through here. Can't reach destination. Is it because I can't move through my characters? Oh no. All right. Well, can I shoot from here? Temporarily hostile. I feel like I should just kill these people, right? Charm person. Twenty-five percent chance of working. Let's try it. They're charmed. Excellent. Marcus is the one who's stuck in the dial. Yeah, we'll save after this. Uh, after this fight, we'll try it again. All right, let's uh, in turn here. You're charmed. Oh, I can't in turn. Damn. I think it is a bug. I'm gonna buy the Can't load right now. Game is currently saving. As soon as it's done, I'll try it. We might have uh, we might have encountered a bug. Save and reload is my thought. Any other? Uh, other thoughts? I'll try this. Save and reload fixed it. Okay. I feel like uh, we just did a very classic D&D &D thing. Super classic. Detecting thoughts going badly is such a great early campaign. Like, every campaign needs one of those. Detect thoughts goes the bad. Your and, and then your you're... And, your dogs. and then you're in trouble. Flourish here. <laughs> Hit an extra little bit of damage. Uh, except I missed the first time, I'm pretty sure. So... In turn there. Now it's Arca's turn. Opportunity attack. Where are you going? Oh, you're gonna go play. Ouch. Temporarily hostile. You can knock out or flee from a temporarily hostile entity and return later. They might resent you, but will not be actively hostile. Knock out or flee. Okay. Let's try the knockout version. 
We can You're flee. Sorry, every last one of you. Let's try fleeing. Got to move. Uh, we'll use bonus. I want to. I want to try and learn this uh, bonus action. Or sorry, I want to try and learn fleeing. Flee combat, yes. Did I get everyone out? Nope, I just got Shadowheart out. Nice. Hi, Jojo. How's it going? All right, we're going to figure this out. I'm going to bite the heads off your kids and your birdies. Whose turn is it now? And your dogs. Laazel. Laazel, you are also going to flee. Make way. We're making everybody flee. <laughs> this game looks so interesting. Shame I don't own a gaming PC. Yeah, it's very interesting. I, uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's it's quite a different pace than uh, I'm used to. Not the ready. So take an opportunity <laughs> attack there. That's fine. We run. Concentration has been broken on detect thoughts. Of course. You're gonna be Get out of here. Can I flee right now? No, I cannot. And then Starian's turn. We'll dash out. I'll take that. On the way. And flee combat. And hopefully I can get uh, Marcus out next turn. Hi, Dr. Melski. Uh, how's it going? Judge says today I made vegan uh, gyros from uh, uh, tofu. It turned out amazing. Served with rice and soy yogurt dip. That sounds good. I had a plain old ham and cheese sandwich with mustard. <laughs> I think your turn is basically done. Um, in healing word myself, the goal here is to... The goal here is to... Don't come after me. No, don't come after me. Where are you dashing to me? Don't dash at me. Don't dash at me. You fucker. Uh oh. Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> Yo, Jojo, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Dr. Melsky. That's very sweet of you. Hi, Supernova. Hi, friends. We got a lot of brand new people here. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you, Jojo. Thanks for the gifted sub. So here's the deal we're trying to flee, and it's not working. Hmm. Swing and swing and... hmm. We're trying to flee. I need to be 27 meters away. Oh, you are all boring. Even your cages are boring. And if I dash, I think about the farthest I can get away is 21 meters. Which is not enough. What is this RuneScape? We are playing RuneScape. I get an op I get opportunity attack. That's attack. Uh, uh, attack. That's fine. 21 meters away. Is enemy too close? Six meters. What do you mean to? Oh God. Bye Rebecca. Good to see you. Currently watching the VOD from the first uh, Baldur's Gate 3 stream. Well, I'm in trouble here. I'm in actual trouble. We're exposed now. I thought I just needed to run from you two. And now I'm getting attacked. Now initiative is so many other people. Do missile snaring? Sure. Bye, Evo. I think I might die, actually. I think I might need to reload a save. I really don't want to do a ton of this, but uh, I'm a little bit nervous that uh, I did this incorrectly. Why are we fleeing? Because I thought that it would work. Uh, I don't plan on safe gaming very much, but I misunderstood like a key part of the combat encounter. <laughs> like a really key part. So I'm going to safe scum real quick. Have a good day in class, Evo. Brian, I was going to ask if there's merch again, uh, if there will be merch again. Uh, I wear my little into heart shirt so much the letters are starting to crumble and come off. 
Uh, there will be merch again, probably not for a little bit. I think we did it in January of last year, January or February. I'm gonna buy uh, the heads off your kids. We try and, and do it just and once a year. Dogs. So it'll probably be uh, probably be in January or February um, of next year. All right, temporarily hostile. Charmed. Can't attack the spellcaster. Let me out, you bunch of softies. I misunderstood charmed. I thought charmed worked against the entire party. It does not. It only works against the one person. So that's interesting. Uh, so we'll ignore that. I love hearing that you love wearing the uh, the shirt, JoJo. You're gonna we be could, uh... sorry. Every last one of you. I get it. We're going to be sorry. We could do something different with the... Uh... With the merch, you know, it's possible. We could do it sooner, potentially. All right, so we have to win this fight. We have to bring everybody in here and win this, win this fucking oh, fight. You thieves are all boring. Even your cages are boring. Are you trying to be peaceful? I'm trying to avoid killing someone and angering a whole faction of people that I wasn't planning on angering, mostly. Uh, that is most of what I'm interested in doing. So, what tools do we have at our disposal here? I know, you're going to bite the heads off our kids. It's dogs. great. Um, charm person. If both characters are charm, do you think combat ends? Front seat question. Let me out, you bunch of softies. Pro tip, close the door. Just a heads up, Mango Hands. We are... Uh, we are not looking for backseating uh, in the game in general. I will ask if uh, I will ask with front seat if I'm looking for tips. Otherwise, uh, no. Uh, True. The combat won't end if I charm them. Okay, sorry. great. We're gonna have to Every win this shit. Love it. Love it. Uh, let's come forward. Onward. Uh, Supernova says. I'm from Texas. We were just talking about Texas earlier today and how humid it is on the western side and not humid it is on the east. Uh, nope, reverse. Humid it is on the eastern oh, side. You all boring. Critical Even hit. Your cages are boring. We get it. You are annoying. In turn. Victory awaits. Pineapple ain't too bad on pizza. I love dogs and cats, but I have two dogs. And I've watched Breath of the Wild. Nice. I believe there's an I'm option to knock out people. I think you can, yeah. And your birdies, That's my plan at this point. Uh, okay. You need to shut up, Ch uh, Saza. Uh, okay. Let's ranged attack here. I don't what? think the other person can go very far. We'll end our turn there. Let me out, you bunch of softies. <gasps> Vissarian's gonna come through. Step quick. Ah, shit. When well, then we're going to close the door. Close. And then we're going to try ranged attacking you. Uh, we can still bonus action hide potentially, but I really highly doubt. Yeah, we're right in the middle. Okay, so we're just going to attack. Um, we do still have one spell slot. Charm person, sleep. Um, if we could sleep you, that would actually be fantastic. Let's do it. Oh, Our first sleep spell. There we go. There we go. Nice. Survival is all that matters. So now we gotta kill you and or knock you out. Um I need to I need to figure out exactly how we knock out without your 15 HP, so I'm I think we'll be fine. The heads off your kids and your birdies and your dogs. <laughs> I get smarter every day. I get dumber every day. Wait a second. Today I learned tangerines are tangerines because they come from Tangier. Wait, I didn't know that. I also just learned something today. Um. Let me cool. out, you bunch of softies. In turn. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> You're You're dead? What did you just do? What the fuck? You're gonna be sorry. 
Every last one of you! Frontsy question, what just happened? You're dead, but what? Arca fell to a lethal blow. Was it a, like, opportunity oh, attack? you teeths are all boring. Even your cages are boring. Does anyone understand what just happened? I can't tell if he blew something up. Did you attack something that exploded? Killed it with an opportunity attack? Well, that's great. Love that. All right. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids. Well, I guess we're just killing everybody now, so let's do that. I guess we're just killing. That's a ranged attack. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, let's see if there's a way to figure out how to not kill someone. I wonder what this button does. This person's uh needs to shut up. They're so annoying. Uh, all right, chat, front seat me here. How do we knock someone out without killing them? You're gonna be sorry every last uh, one front seat of you. Passives tab at the bottom. Let me click on someone else. Passives. Oh, you teeths are all boring. Toggle non-lethal attacks. Your cages are boring. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. So now if we attack, it should be. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids. And your well. buddies. We killed someone. We're going to prison, and this whole thing is fucked up, but we figured out how to uh, work it out. Pommel Strike also works, but I am out of that one. Thank you, though. Hoggle non-lethal. All right, well, we killed somebody. Uh, so that's fun. I, Saza, you need to shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. wish to live in more interesting times. I ain't sure why you killed that soft ass to protect me. <laughs> Don't care neither. It's too late to make friends, warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the absolute and hang you by your guts. They can try, but they won't be the first goblins I've killed today. Who's this absolute you're so fond of? Your god? Goddess. We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. The absolute is gold from the sky, she is. I really like the this voice acting. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. Mmm, that's deep. Blessing in the storm and the storm itself. You've caught my interest. Do you have any holy literature on you? Have you heard the good news about our Lord and Savior, the absolute, the gold from the sky? An all-powerful goddess that can't get you out of a cage. Mmm. This one sounds sarcastic. My tribe can tell you everything there is to know. Absolute bless one of our own. Priestess Gut. Got a whole lab set up. Her name is Gut? Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty Booyog. Bah. A clever goblin's like a trustworthy gig, a figment of the imagination. Like having sex while camping. Uh, nice story. Buy it for a copper in a tavern nearby, or I'd certainly like to meet her. It's the truth. I don't think I want to meet her. I swear on your mother's grave. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? I'm definitely not getting you out of here. There's no shot. If I got you out of here after I also killed Arca or whatever her name is, I'm fucked. There's no way. <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the wargs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. Mm, sure, sure, sure. There's no chance. Suit yourself. Looking forward to seeing what your innards look like. Can I? You're gonna be sorry 
Every just kill you anyways. All right, should we loot Arca? We should probably... <laughs> Arca's dead as shit. Um, is there any loot over here? That we could grab. No? All right, let's get out of here. Let's run. Let's run. Let's go see if we can find Nettie. Do you think we just fucked our chances of a... Uh... Close this door? Seems simple enough. I think we just fucked our chances of uh, getting healed. I think we might have. Can't give up now. I'm gonna buy the eggs right. off your That's Eramis. This way we have Zoru. Hello, friends. Eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. Mm. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Uh, I'll see to this one, Laazel. You heard the woman bow. I suggest you do as she says. I swear on your mother's grave, by the way. I swear on your mother's grave. I wonder if I need to toggle non-lethal back off. You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Laazel, I have enough senses to know that you're a rude motherfucker and that we won't get anywhere if I let you do the talking. Stand down, I won't tell you again. Or do as you must. Interesting. Laazel, listen. You're the medicine, but I'm the honey we mix with the medicine to make it go down okay. <laughs> you need to let me put a positive spin on this shit. After all, I'm an, a rock star. Fine. Thank you. Tell me where you saw the Githyanki. On the road to Baldur's Gate, n near the mountain pass. Good cop, bad cop. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. And I just... I just ran. The map. Show me. We need to take a rest. I'm covered in blood. <laughs> I look a little suspicious. Thanks for your help. Apologies for my companion. Quit your sniveling. We're done with you. All right, Lazel, you got what you needed or leave. I think this is the honest to God, a leave situation. Cable says, I don't know what you said, but my uh, Amazon device just said, you're so welcome. People really want to uh, uh, antagonize Laazel, huh? I'm hit and leave. Get me out of here. Get me out of this conversation. Shit's bad. What's going on up here? Actually, uh, what I'm going to do in case we, we put this on YouTube eventually. I'm going to take a break right here really, really quick. Call it an episode. Two, two second little break. Well, uh, we just accidentally killed a tiefling in a whole colony full of tieflings. Laazel has a exclamation mark, which is interesting. Um, and yeah, we did our first safe scum. You could say bye, YouTube, if you'd like. Goodbye, VOD and YouTube friends. Goodbye.